I mean, everything is definitely the whole they whole campaign right now is sitting right on the shoulders of revealing this whole crossplay feature. So the major deal is will crossplay be able to come straight out the gate and work out like it's designed to work out? I know it's designed for perfection, but once you get all these people on this server and everybody get to jump in at the same time, it's no telling what this server gonna respond like. I mean, we could be broke off for, for two days. We could be broke off for, for the first week. It ain't no telling. Right now, it's just no telling, but this has to work. If this don't work, this is gonna be a major L for 2K, as well as connecting new features, these new features to this crossplay system. If they can't connect these new features to the crossplay system, I'm pretty sure they're going to catch a whole lot of heat, a bunch of ridicule from the community. You know, the community is waiting. These boys are sitting in the shadows waiting to diss 2K. They waiting. We got boys asking for buff defense. They, they asking for buffed up defense. They asking for the old dribbling systems to come back. They asking to revert back to this and that. They want to... They want some 2016 mixed with some 2012. They putting some... They putting together all kind of wish lists, and most of it is for shock value. I see the tweets. I see the streets talking, and most of it, to me, it looked like, uh, why would I respond to that? Now, you just tweeting for shock value. You asking for some, but for these kids that's asking for buff defense and for buff paint defense, and I just feel like y'all don't know how to play defense anyway. I come at the game scientifically every year. I play basketball, but more than that, I'm playing a video game. So I know it's mechanical functions and algorithms involved. I understand that it's button structure involved. I, I get that, you know what I mean? As, as a guy that approaches the game scientifically, you have to become a scientist and figure out what's new from last year. What's, what's new within the button structure, within the mechanics of the game? What if they add it as a, as a new feature to what we can do mechanically with these players that they're giving us? So, with that said, I can tell you guys for a fact, you do not understand the button structure and the mechanics of paint defense or defense, period. You wonder why you're always sliding. I could tell you why you're sliding, but I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to do the work on your own. I'm not giving you the edge for free. Maybe if you stick around and listen to the live streams or kick it with me long enough, you can hear some of my insights towards how the game works and the inner workings, the inner structures of the game, but not for free. You're not about to get that out of me right now. What you're going to get is a tongue lashing on why you're asking for buffed up defense because you don't know how to defend. You barely know how to play offense. You barely know how to dribble. You barely know how to score. And you know how to do that because it's easy to do. The hardest thing in the game to do is defend a dribble head that's left, right. And yeah, you can sit left side of him you could sit right side you can give up the two and guard his three play up i mean yeah that's easy but when it comes down to where to flick them sticks and which buttons to press and when and how many times to press them and in what succession that's the part that you don't understand and that's why you don't know how to play defense but that's neither here nor there what we don't need is buffed up defense what we need is maybe more instructions on how to use these defensive systems or how to use these systems in general every year they give us a 2ku but i don't think half of y'all go to 2ku if you would have been in 2ku go back to go back to 18 and jump in 2ku and then cycle through each 2ku in succession going up until 23 and you might see something you might figure something out you might if you do your science and your research you might be able to figure out why defense is the way it is and how to use the mechanics in order to advance yourself past begging for buffed up defense because if they buff up defense anymore i'm gonna be murdering you guys every time i step on the floor you asking for buffed up defense but did you make a player that can even defend or your attributes in the right spots you hit the right thresholds to even get the type of defense you're looking for you got to think about that when you come in at this situation you got to think about paint defense have you even given yourself the edge to be dynamic in the paint because i know with my center i can show you the examples of blocking your shot eight times out of ten I know with the right defensive structure on my player, I can take you out of the sky eight times out of 10, seven times out of 10. Easy. 
It's too easy for me. I've done the research. You have to do your research before you just ask for things that you don't know what you're asking for. You don't understand what you're asking for in these situations. All right, that's just much ado about nothing. I just wanted to snap off about that real quick. Um, just a little quick rant. I just wanted to bring for y'all for the morning, something to talk about, some discussion. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, like and subscribe for more of this, and I'm bringing you more of the news as it comes out. Oh, and in game, Paul George is the best card in the game, hands down. Argue with your mother, don't bring it to me. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.